Hello everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are here today with another gameplay, and last episode we got out of Crawford, got everything we needed, and we found out that Clementine is missing. Lee got bitten last episode, which is unfortunate. This episode we're going to see if we can't find Clementine before Lee turns. So without further ado, let's get right into it. It is very unfortunate that Lee got bitten, but eh, it happens. It happens, I guess. Here we are going to their group to see if they took Clementine. Make sure you guys are enjoying the series. You hit that like button, comment whether you are or not, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any sweet content. All right, let's get in here. Although I don't think it was these guys. Oh. What the heck? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Hmm. <sighs> they got out of here in a jiffy, didn't they? Oh my goodness. Holy cow. I wonder if that's why he was asking if we came from the railway. Maybe a horde was coming? Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, shoot. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Where have you taken her? Who is this? Put Clementine back on. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Um... Here we are to episode five. Vernon, get out here! The final there episode. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Holy. Who is this? It's not Vernon if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping league. Then what is it? I don't care what it is, I'm going to hurt you. Then what is it? A rescue. A rescue? Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Gotta get Clem back. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We've got the whole crew here. Everybody's here. A little bit dangerous, but... How's that feeling? Doesn't matter. Not great. Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah. Totally. We don't have much time. Oh, dang. Yeah, we don't have any time at all. We've lost time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. All right. So, what are they going to do if something when when something happens to Lee? He, I mean, he he's bitten. He's turning. It's happening. It's just something we have to accept right now. 
It is, it's really sad because Lee's an awesome character, but, you know. Okay, so there is a couple doors. There's a door over here Wait, we cannot access. Probably can't access this one either. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I, I doubt it. I'm not going to shoot it. That would be absolutely insane. We'll drop all of those walkers in on us. Okay. Uh, anything else around here that I can grab? Anything in these drawers? Oh, hello. That ought to help. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Rubs me in just looking at it. Yeah, Looks just like knowing what that's for. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yeah, well, I mean, it is in the crematorium. So, I mean, what else would you be imagining? That small little thing on a car? Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, let's get this door open. I'm glad we didn't shoot it. That would have been so stupid. Okay. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. You think he would have peeked through the door as well, so that way no zombies are... I mean, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, now's not the not time to be fainting, Lee. Now is not the time for this. Ah, oh, dang. No time left. Episode 5. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. I'm surprised they were so close. And I'm also okay. surprised they don't have a gun pointed at me. This has to be done. Uh oh. Sorry, pal. We gotta do it. Whoa! Don't kill me. Whoa! Stop! He's awake. He's still bitten. So? That's no. Oh. This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. Yeah. What if he dies? Then you put me down. And the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Uh damn right. I'm right here. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey. I'm already gonna turn, right guys. It, uh, he's had the bite for a while. That's the infection's definitely Sorry. everywhere now. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm. You don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. Nah, he will. Uh, right? I mean... What do you think? Nah. Nah, we leave it. No. Just leave it. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. If I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem, I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. Either way, you yeah, know. But not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Y y can you argue with a dying man? <laughs> Evidently not. All of them would have probably had something to say otherwise, but... You can't really argue with a dying man. Almost got his arm chopped off. I'm surprised Lee didn't tell him about this crank. As well, because I mean, we get this open, we're free. Oh, it broke, but the door's open, so it did do its job. Thank goodness. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Whew. Up the ladder we go. We're out of here. Of course, Lee's last. Although, I mean... Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Yeah, it makes sense that Lee's last just in case he fell, but... Ah! Is there zombies in the elevator? 
Do you think that zombies, after a while, would actually just <gasps> lay down and die? Because if they're not eating, then they certainly don't have the food to... Watch out! <laughs> oh, jeez. Shut the fuck up, man. Everything okay up there? I think I just peed myself. <laughs> so, yes, then. Well, now there's a zombie down there. Well, if, if we fall, we're probably done for. Oh, no. Lee! Lee! You passed out right in the ladder, oh, God. dude. Are you alive? Get up! Could you imagine waking up from fainting on a ladder like that? I'm alive. I'm gonna fall. I'm alive. You have to pull yourself up. Jesus. Oh. Gotta get up. Okay, let's get up. Pull yourself up there. Come on. His legs saved Good him. Job. Yeah, now you need to get we need to get off this ladder. Fainting fainting uh Fran over here needs to get off the ladder. Oh jeez. Dang dude, this whole building is just covered in Zams. Zamalams everywhere. Nice, onto the roof we are. Boom, baby. So sadly, we led an entire horde into town with our train. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Yeah. Did they follow us here? Yep. Yeah. It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? It's not hard to that follow a train, train track. Wasn't exactly discreet. We can wait for an opening. Clementine's well, out the. What do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. I don't know. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right in that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Cool. Now we just need to get off this really high roof with streets filled with zombies. Absolutely filled. There's a ladder right here. It's an extension ladder. It might come in handy a little bit later. Okay, anything else? Lee stuck on a paintbrush. <laughs> See anything? There's a fire escape here. And that's about it. Wow. Yeah, that wouldn't be too smart. There's a bell tower over there. You still want to die? If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. Any thoughts on the current situation? You still want to die. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. Huh. Don't get me killed if it ends up being you and Clem. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. Yeah. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. You really would. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. I need to get off this roof. Yeah. I understand the feelings you probably get looking down at that. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. <laughs> Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. <laughs> Alright, we talked to those two. No, I don't want to talk to Ben again. I just want to walk past these people. Here we go. 
All right, last but not least, let's talk to Krista and Omid. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Very true. Okay, and then now, finally, last but not least, let's go talk to Omid and see if we can't get over to this bell tower. What's up over here? Bell tower. That's what's up. Hmm, yeah. That could help. Okay. Um, we're not going to actually jump, no right? Way. Yeah, okay. This <laughs> room All right, so now can we go grab that ladder? Or let's see. Let's have a look here. There we go. Okay, now let's grab this ladder. Let's go plunk it over there and see what we can do. Um, there we go. This is so sketchy. My goodness. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? Um, my leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Okay, I guess it's Lee. I didn't get a choice. It's all Lee. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry? What she said. You want me to hurry across this? None of you are going to hold the ladder? Okay. Alright. I guess Lee's alone in this. Of course. Of course. Ah! Okay, we got one down. That's one Holy zombie shit, less out of a thousand. Man. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? I suppose we shall. Let's go ahead and ring this bell. And there we go, we have all of their attention. The dinner bell is ringing. They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. I mean... At least this roof is higher. However, that is a hell of a jump, dude. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Whew. You got this. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. <laughs> I, there was also something on Don't the other down. side. There's a gap there. There was something on the oh, other side, too, I didn't, I didn't get a look at oh, before I rung the bell. You gotta do this, All right, pal! let's go. I guess I can't look at it anyways. Let's go. Let's get going. Whew! My adrenaline will be pumping! Oh, I almost missed that, too. <laughs> I should have been a little bit more prepared for that. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Nice. All <laughs> right. No sort of no just nothing. No sort of nothing. Lee just boom. Holy. What the fuck? And now our boat's taken. I knew it. Come on. Just come the f 
fuck on? Well, we're not coming back here. Yeah, the radio. Come on, I gave him the Who? Boat. Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio. The one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. Vernon. No fucking way. You've got to be kidding me. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. What? No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. I when I find this. them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. Well, they fucked us. Yeah, that's something else right there. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Yeah, especially with these streets, man. We should not be out in the open at this all. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. That's yeah, not a bad idea. that seems like a good idea to yeah. me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Everybody keep together, Chill. worry about the boat after. Chris Do you remember right. we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. Oh my god, Kenny. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. <laughs> we can do this in the yard. Or in the house. What do we- Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Uh, get to the countryside, find a small town, get another. Hmm. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done, and we have no idea what else is out there. Boats, towns, hopes. Lee, people end up dead chasing impossible things. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Yeah. Out there. What are you talking about impossible things? The dead are walking. Where the hell do you get the off? The impossible I'm is just happening. Saying, we, we need should to deal all with it. chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. Here we go we again. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben. Careful, Kenny, stop. Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Um... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Why were we doing that outside? <laughs> I don't know why we constantly have to yell outside, but we will find out more about that next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favorite, and subscribe. This was The Walking Dead. And next episode, we're hopefully going to work this out. Although, we were yelling, and there were a lot of wa uh, walkers headed our way. So maybe this house is no longer safe. We will find all of that out next episode. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye!